The five ETFs we will explain today are SOXL, LABU, QCLN, TECL, SOXX. Please note that this analysis is based on the latest data and is subject to change. Investors should always do their own research before making any investment decisions. Has SOXL experienced bullish or bearish technical momentum recently? Technical Signals and Analysis SOXL's 14-day relative strength index, RSI, value was 67. When the RSI is between 50 and 70, it generally indicates that the stock is moderately bullish. This means that the securities price has been rising but has not yet reached overbought levels, which are usually considered an RSI reading of 75 or higher. The current stochastic oscillator of SOXL is 97%. When the stochastic oscillator rises above the 80 level, it is usually considered overbought, indicating that the stock may be due for a price pullback or pullback. An overbought condition occurs when a stock's price rises too fast and too high in a short period of time and can be a sign that buying pressure has exhausted. Trend Outlook SOXL has a 47% probability of rising stock price. When the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is relatively high. If the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the probability of stock rising is relatively high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, SOXL has 5 bullish signals and 3 bearish signals. SOXL's short-term support level is 58.2. If it falls below 58.2 during the session, it will have a chance to test 53.1. SOXL's short-term resistance level is 67.8. If it breaks through 67.8 during the session, it will look up to 71.9. What technical signals should you watch for when analyzing LABU? Technical Signals and Analysis LABU's 14-day relative strength index, RSI, value was 54. When the RSI is between 50 and 70, it generally indicates that the stock is moderately bullish. This means that the securities price has been rising but has not yet reached overbought levels, which are usually considered an RSI reading of 75 or higher. The current stochastic oscillator of LABU is 64%. When the stochastic oscillator stays between 50 and 80, it may indicate that the stock is experiencing a mild downtrend with some selling pressure. In this case, an oversold signal could indicate that a stock is reaching a potential buying opportunity. Trend Outlook LABU has a 42% probability of rising stock price. When the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is relatively high. If the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the probability of stock rising is relatively high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, LABU has four bullish signals and two bearish signals. LABU's short-term support level is 108.2. If it falls below 108.2 during the session, it will have a chance to test 104.9. LABU's short-term resistance level is 120.8. If it breaks through 120.8 during the session, it will look up to 125.1. Is QCLN trading within its normal technical range? Technical Signals and Analysis
QCLN's 14-Day Relative Strength Index, RSI, value was 55. When the RSI is between 50 and 70, it generally indicates that the stock is moderately bullish. This means that the securities price has been rising but has not yet reached overbought levels, which are usually considered an RSI reading of 75 or higher. The current stochastic oscillator of QCLN is 15%. When the indicator falls below the 20 level, it is usually considered oversold, indicating that a price rebound or recovery is likely for the stock. An oversold condition occurs when the stock price falls too fast and too much in a short period of time, which may indicate that the selling pressure has exhausted. Trend Outlook QCLN has a 40% probability of rising stock price. When the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is relatively high. If the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the probability of stock rising is relatively high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, QCLN has five bullish signals and three bearish signals. QCLN's short-term support level is 34.9. If it falls below 34.9 during the session, it will have a chance to test 34.7. QCLN's short-term resistance level is 37.6. If it breaks through 37.6 during the session, it will look up to 38.1. What technical signals should you watch for when analyzing TECL? Technical Signals and Analysis TECL's 14-Day Relative Strength Index, RSI, value was 72. When the RSI is between 50 and 70, it generally indicates that the stock is moderately bullish. This means that the securities price has been rising but has not yet reached overbought levels, which are usually considered an RSI reading of 75 or higher. The current stochastic oscillator of TECL is 99%. When the stochastic oscillator rises above the 80 level, it is usually considered overbought indicating that the stock may be due for a price pullback or pullback. An overbought condition occurs when a stock's price rises too fast and too high in a short period of time and can be a sign that buying pressure has exhausted. Trend Outlook The probability of TECL share price rising is 59%. When the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the stock has a higher chance of rising. If the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, TECL has five bullish signals and three bearish signals. TECL's short-term support level is 99.8. If it falls below 99.8 during the session, it will have a chance to test 88.7. TECL's short-term resistance level is 110.6. If it breaks through 110.6 during the session, it will look up to 117.9. SOXX, a technical analysis of the top U.S. market ETF. Technical Signals and Analysis SOXX's 14-Day Relative Strength Index, RSI, value was 66. When the RSI is between 50 and 70, it generally indicates that the stock is moderately bullish. This means that the securities price has been rising but has not yet reached overbought levels which are usually considered an RSI reading of 75 or higher. The current stochastic oscillator of SOXX is 12%.
When the indicator falls below the 20 level, it is usually considered oversold, indicating that a price rebound or recovery is likely for the stock. An oversold condition occurs when the stock price falls too fast and too much in a short period of time, which may indicate that the selling pressure has exhausted. Trend Outlook SOXX has a 47% probability of rising stock price. When the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is relatively high. If the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the probability of stock rising is relatively high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, SOXX has five bullish signals and three bearish signals. SOXX's short-term support level is 251. If it falls below 251 during the session, it will have a chance to test 241. SOXX's short-term resistance level is 264. If it breaks through 264 during the session, it will look up to 271.